Sicilian defense, open, Skeven engine, Sozin, flank variation, 8.00b79.qf3. Sudden Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered Black in the middle game. Opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. d6 opens up the light squared bishop and prevents white from pushing the pawn to e5 after black eventually plays nf6. d4 offers to trade the d pawn for the c pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. Nf6 develops the knight and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. After all captures, this is an equal trade. Recaptures. A6 prepares the queenside pawn advance b7 b5, and also prevents white from playing the bishop or knight to b5. Bc4 develops the bishop to an aggressive diagonal where it helps control the d5 square and attacks the f7 pawn. E6 supports the d5 square and allows the dark squared bishop to develop to e7. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. This develops a bishop off its starting square getting it into the action. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. The pawn is now adequately defended. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is good. Takes back. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This leads to losing a pawn. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a bishop. It is a mistake. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to win a pawn. It is a miss. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This loses a bishop. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores a better way to add a defender to a vulnerable pawn. It is a blunder. This is the way to win a bishop. This is the only move that works. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. That pawn was free for the taking. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This skewers the opponent's pieces. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. 
both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered black in the middle game. 